I don't know what was wrong with me. I was just so excited. And I was like, wow, there's so many people watching this game. Literally two seconds before they threw to me, I go, what What the fuck am I supposed to be talking about? This is crazy. And then I was like, Aaron, breathe. What is wrong with you? Then you start being in your head. And Kevin's like, ah, and Aaron Andrews. And I was like, <laughs> um, besides all that, you want to know what's a lot? You were fabulous. You, might- you fucking crushed it. And this is the stuff that Erin will never say. But <sighs> she gets so nervous before, which I think is a I'm good thing. So nervous. I-, I think that's a great thing because when you have thirty plus million people watching, and it's for twenty and seconds, to. and if you, do, which we're going to talk about in a second, um, you always crush it. And the thing is, it's like that people are like oh it can't be that hard you you try standing there i and, don't and have a teleprompter no i teleprompter. actually would love one for my opening hit i no don't tele- and to be conversational to hit like I here's the thing i get it it's the same way that we talk about these athletes well that's their job they're getting paid a lot of money it's your job to have that stand up ready it's your job to do the post the post game interviews it's your job to do the halftime interviews blah 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 we get it's your job but this still doesn't mean that it's like you nail it every time i fucking fumbled 19 different reads and i had a teleprompter for thursday night football and at one point because this is what we do i after the a block i sat there and i was like in my head i go you better get it together right now what uh, yeah. is wrong with you carissa that was me and right before is- my stand up and this is what I have to say to myself. Slow down. Yeah. Take a breath. I and know. stop rushing. You've done this a million times. It doesn't matter if they're changing the rundown. It doesn't matter if the crowd's behind you. It doesn't matter. Just slow down. And that's yeah. the, the way that I get myself to get back. I even at halftime, right before I went out there, I went and used the potty. And I remember I was like saying to okay. myself, I was like this. I was like, I said to myself as I'm sitting there peeing, I was like, you are good at your job. Stop Aww. trying to do too much. Just go out there, listen to what the guys say, yeah. get in and out of breaks that are clean, and don't make this a mountain out of a molehill <sighs> with stupid stumbling. Because I get so hard on myself if I stumble at all. And it's like, yeah. not everything is perfect, but I do. I want to be perfect. And that's the part where I think sometimes anyone that listens to this podcast should know that we're not acting like what we do is the world's most difficult job. Okay, no, so we'll just get that out of the way. doing brain but, surgery. But I will say that there still is an element of live TV. And there's been plenty of times that I've blanked out and I'm like, oh, shit, what am I doing? And thank God for some muscle memory because it gets me to where I need to go. But I'm like, sometimes it ain't pretty. Can I tell you something? This just made me think of this. So last week we were talking about, um, or no, it was, I think, week one. And I just told you I had zero confidence and I had stuff going on at home. And I just, uh, I, I just didn't, you were great. My dad was great about being like, listen, you're good at your job. I got the nicest text from a former college coach that I used to cover all the time. And he goes, heard you were having a rough go with your confidence. For, uh, must have been from the podcast, just wanted to reach out and tell you myself and you mentioned his wife are the, your biggest fans. We have been since day one, blah, blah, blah. But you being honest about that just makes you who you are. I thought that was so lovely. Karen, that is Come so on. lovely. And I forgot to write you know, it back. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you have to be Shit. better about that because you know the people in our lives that I don't know. write us back and we don't like them. Yeah. Well, we, not that we don't like them. We just are like, uh, you're not that busy to respond back in two messages. Yeah. You know what I do now on those? First of all, that is so nice. And so that nice. is it is warranted. And you know what? I Two things I want to say about that. You're deserving of that recognition. And also, that's a good reminder that the way that that text made you feel, pay that forward and do that to somebody else that, you know, you hear is like, like, you did that with Mike McCarthy, even like, I'm sorry, you know, it's just like, and paid it off in your halftime report, like pay that forward, yeah. because you know how it makes you feel. And it's like takes no time at all for that person to send that text. But That's I also true. do this because I'm trying not to be delinquent in responding oh, on a text. So if bad. I open up a text, if I open up a text, and then yeah. I will go back out and I will, I will mark unread. it as unread. Yeah. Unread, unread, <laughs> unread, unread. <laughs> Um, unread and you read you unread, unread your text. The text by the way um, that's God, a great idea yeah go to unread so do and i in your case what unread if i did it. my first hit next week in an english accent kevin the buccaneers are trying to that would be crazy 
Well, I've, we've, we've seen crazier things on the sideline, like sunglasses. So anyways, this is just where I'm getting to in life. We need to pay things forward. We need You're to right. appreciate that. And we need to recognize that like that text would not have been sent if there wasn't real merit and thought behind it. So I think that you need to store that away in your little pocket. And remember that next time you're feeling any sort of insecurity.